What's up everybody, John Eric Paul here with my MMA news and today's guest will fight Patricio Pitbull at Bellator 255 in the main event for the featherweight title. Of course this fight is in the semifinals of the Bellator featherweight Grand Prix and this event will go down on April 2nd. So I'm talking to Emmanuel Sanchez. Emmanuel, how you doing my man? Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to be here and speak with us. No problem. Thank you for having me. So we'll start right now with uh, your training camp. Just how are you feeling and how's camp going as we're just a few weeks out from that April 2nd main event? I'm ready to go. I wish it was today. I've been waiting and wanting this for a long time. Uh, having a stare at this man at all these different uh, press conferences and pictures and things shared over the social media. And waiting all this time. I've just uh, been chomping up a bit to want to get this one back. And... Now here we are, just a few weeks away. Can't wait to rock and roll. So you guys previously fought back in 2018. I was just wondering, in the lead up to this fight, have you went and watched that film back, or is there anything, whether you watched the film or not, that you remember and that you, uh, you took away from that first meeting that you're going to be aware of for this one? Uh, yeah, I took a lot away from it. I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, I can still play it over in my head almost every day because. You uh, listen to what he said. He said I gave him his toughest fight uh, throughout his whole career. He was in the hospital three days after that fight, and uh, I just had a little scratch in my eye. So even though that decision sucked and the loss sucked, not getting my hand raised, not getting the strap around my waist, that sucked. But the arrow had to get pulled back hard before it could be shot forward and come forward. So that only made me a much better fighter, a much stronger fighter, a much wiser fighter, in every which way, in every area of my life. And looking back on it, I'm grateful for that. And I can't wait to go get this win back. So what's it going to take to beat Pitbull on April 2nd and to leave the Bellator cage that night with the featherweight championship? Even in my greatness, I just know that well, I'm chasing greatness here. And this greatness for me would be to write this story and you can't write a better story. A man who had to take out two undefeated fighters to win this whole Grand Prix on top of two men who beat him. And I've already won five rounds with this man. I've already felt his speed, his size, his strength, his power, everything. So there's not anything that I need to think about, worry about, or even care about. Uh, I respect him, his skill, him as a man, everything that he's done. He's the champ champ, and he's a champ champ for a reason. But uh, I know I can stop him and it's not gonna take me more than three rounds. And what I'm excited for about this matchup, obviously we know it's a rematch and rematches are always fun, but uh, you've been on a roll yourself. I mean, I know Pitbull, of course, is, has been on a tear recently, but you've won seven of eight, uh, three in a row at the current moment. Is this the best Emmanuel Sanchez that we've seen to date? You have to say yes. I still have yet to show it, but when you look back at all the losses, that I've had throughout my goals for career. Look at to who it's been. The only other man who's had the, the title, Patrick Kern, a multiple time champ, Daniel Vicho, who fought for the title twice, who nearly almost became champion as well too. He almost beat Patricio Pitbull and had a great second fight with him as well too. And he's shown that uh, outside of anyone else in the featherweight division, he was still able to go out and be victorious and show that he's one of the best. So I knew when this whole Grand Prix was set up, and I saw everyone that, you know, no one in this Grand Prix has fought more fighters than I have. I, I, I've faced the most on top of the last, you know, there's only been three other men who have the other title. Patricia Pickle, Daniel Strauss, and Pat Curran. And I fought all three of them. And now to be able to go out there and get this one back over someone I, who I know I can beat as well too, you can't write a better story. He taught me a very valuable lesson. And I can't wait to show him what he taught me and the world as well too. And I thank him for that. And I know we will have a trilogy after this one as well too. And of course, like I said in the beginning, this is a uh, semi-final matchup in the Bellator Grand, uh, Featherweight Grand Prix. And the winner will advance to the finals where you guys would fight AJ McKee. Of course, I know you're focused on Patricio Pitbull right now. 
But I have to ask, given that AJ McKee's already in the finals, do you kind of peek ahead a little bit and start to try to get ready for him? Or is this just, you know, all about Pitbull at the moment and you'll cross that bridge with AJ when you'd come to it? Uh, well, not a lot of people know this, but I was actually scheduled to fight AJ McKee back in 2016. And I had suffered an injury uh, a week and a half before the fight. That was coming off my loss to Daniel Weichel. I was scheduled to fight AJ McKee. So for me, this is how not only, like as I have mentioned, being able to have the best story written in MMA history, taking out two undefeated fighters and two men who beat him, but also I count that as a loss as well too because I lost out of the opportunity to beat AJ McKee that many years ago. So seeing what he's been able to do since we were scheduled to fight and everyone he's watched in and what he's been able to do in the Grand Prix as well too, it just makes for a better story and uh, even a much bigger fight between him and I. But of course, as you mentioned, uh, first things first is Patricio Pitbull. But yes, I'm very much looking forward to facing AJ McKee in the finals. And I'll just say, if you're to be victorious here on April 2nd, do you have any idea of when the finals would take place? As Bellator said, like, hey, be ready to go, you know, because this date is when the finals are going to happen. I'm still up in the air, but I'm excited to go out and get this win over Patricio Pitbull and turn my dream into reality, ask for, uh, ask for a fight in Texas. Now if Texas has opened up, and people are starting to have fans, and we saw Ryan Garcia fight there in boxing and having fans, and I know more and more of those fights are starting to open up. Go Florida, something. Uh, perhaps Bellator can make something happen there with the commission. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, as far as the future goes, you know, you heard Scott Coacher, Coker mentioned that it's going to be uh, at the Mohegan Sun throughout their fights here. And even if it is still there, then I'm more than happy with that as well, too. I'm just happy and grateful that we're able to fight. My fight was supposed to be there last year with Daniel Weichel and it got canceled and obviously with all the cancellations and all the crazy stuff that was going on in the world uh, it, it, it pushed my fight back even longer but I stayed patient uh, I stayed on top of my hard work dedication I never lost hope I never lost faith and I was just waiting on my opportunity and I stayed grinding the whole time because I knew it would come and I'm excited and I like the Mohegan Sun so I got no complaints from there right? that's going to be like a home away from home and if that's where it is, where I win the semifinal and the final, then God bless it, man. I'm just blessed and grateful that we're able to do this again. What's your prediction for uh, the main event there on April 2nd? How do you see yourself getting a win? I've already won five rounds with Patricio Pitbull. I felt his, his speed, his power, his strength, everything that he brings to the table. And as great a fighter as he is, uh, I know I can stop him. And this is not going to be round, another round one through five. This is round six through ten. But I know we're not going to need to go to ten. So I see myself stopping Patricio Pitbull in less than three rounds. And Emmanuel, one last thing uh, before you roll out here. You want to go ahead, plug your social media management, sponsors, anything like that. Please feel free to do so. Uh, just shouting out to my gym, my academy. So I'm here right now with the Sports Martial Arts Academy. Cryo Fit Milwaukee, or come and do my recovery. Wisconsin Athletic Club on top of more training and my recovery. A great mouth guard, Simon Emma Makeup, Unparalleled Greatness. It's my girl, Brand. You know, we're starting uh, my, my fitness and my nutrition and living by our staple, believing in our greatness. Perfect Sports, uh, supplement company. Oh, got my bags. And Fresh Fit, okay. A local restaurant here in Milwaukee it takes a village to raise a fighter, and I'm grateful for everyone that's in my corner and backing me up. And I'm excited to bring the belt back home. Both uh, the regular semi final strap and then the final strap to the tournament strap. I'm bringing this whole thing home for everyone. All right, Emmanuel, thank you so much for all of your time today. We appreciate it. And again, as a reminder to everybody out there, that a uh, Grand Prix matchup in three, two, all right, thanks, Emmanuel, for the time today. We appreciate it. And uh, to everybody out there, just a reminder, his fight with Patricio Pitbull goes down on April 2nd, and the fights for Bellator are now on Showtime. So make sure you check it out that Friday night on Showtime. And uh, just a reminder, like I always do, just want to tell you guys, subscribe to this YouTube channel, because if you do, you'll see more great interviews like the one you just watched here today. And also keep going to my MMA News, checking out all of our great content that we've been putting out and go to our social media accounts. Give us a like and a follow as well. We appreciate it.
See you later, everybody.